Hi, and welcome to the next episode of Belly to Belly. And we're here today to talk about preparation for Select USA. Obviously, a massive event, uh, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to everyone coming in to the US and learning about the opportunity here and meeting some great resources to help them expand quickly. So today we have Andrew Greenfield from Fragman. Uh, and Andrew, welcome. Thank you so much, Bill. Uh, really nice to talk to you and to talk to whomever is listening to this uh, podcast. Uh, I've been at Select USA many times. It's a great event, and uh, I think you're going to get a lot out of it. Oh, that's awesome. So, well, let's let's dive in. And I, I know our audience is um, really curious uh, to pre-meet with resources as much as possible. So when you get to the event, it's hopefully second and or third meetings, as opposed to that preliminary kind of get to know you type stuff. Uh, which obviously is important, but if we can advance uh, the clock a little bit, that's uh, going to be productive for everybody. So um, if you wouldn't mind, Andrew, just if you take just a couple minutes and share a little bit about what Fragman does, particularly to help uh, companies that are coming into the U.S. Sure. Um, so Fragman is actually a pretty unique firm, uh, unique law firm. We've been around since 1951, so over 70 years, and we have spent that entire time exclusively devoted to the immigration and visa needs of businesses. Uh, and in particular, as while well, Fragman as a firm is all over the world, I'm a, a partner in the firm's US office and I'm a US attorney. And so I specialize specifically in helping foreign businesses who are interested in opening up US subsidiaries or perhaps they have US subsidiaries or US affiliates in making sure that they are complying with all of the rules that are required to employ foreign born professionals in the United States. And so we help with visas and work permits and consular applications, and just making sure that among the many issues that foreign businesses have and setting up shop in the United States, that there's that piece that can't be forgotten, which is the immigration piece, which is that you can't get your people to work here without permission from the US government. And that permission requires a, a pretty in-depth application process and we assist with that. Fantastic, well, I know immigration is a, a massive uh, concern for companies coming in. So having a, a great resource like yourself is gonna be really important. So um, obviously Select USA, big event, lots of companies coming in, lots of resources, pretty much every state in the union there to connect with all the companies. Why is it in particular that you participate? I participate because we have found over the years there is an enormous both need and a lack of information on the internet and through other sources for foreign businesses to use to help them plan for their expansion into the US. We find a lot of times that that other aspects of setting up a company in the United States, whether that's raising money or finding physical premises or housing in schools and even tax issues get covered by other resources. But at the last minute, people are like, wait a second, I'm gonna need authorization to work. Does my spouse, do my children, do they get to work in the United States? Can they attend school? And we, 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 we have been participating in Select USA for a long time to make sure that good information is out there for people, number one, so that they don't forget this really important aspect of US expansion and that they have access to a firm like ours that we, we like to think are you know, the thought leaders in this area to help people make sure that they're crossing every T and dotting every I so that when they're ready to make the move, they got every, they have everything in place. Perfect, no, that's fantastic. So um, as you can imagine, the companies that are coming, and you well know, um, some have been to the US before, some have not, uh, most have not been to Select USA for sure. Um, and so are there some recommendations you'd have for uh, folks that are coming in to get the most out of their visit, not just to Select USA, but potentially their, their uh, visit to the US? Yeah, I mean, a couple of things. Select USA, as you alluded to at the beginning of this talk, is a huge event. And I encourage you, after you register for the event, to spend some time planning your three or four days in the United States. Go, go onto the website, 
look at who all the exhibitors are, look at the, the panel discussions that are gonna be taking place. If you're interested in learning specifically more about immigration, you can come to a panel that I'll be on on the first day on May 1st. Um, you can come to our booth in the exhibit hall. And in that regard, I encourage you to spend time in the exhibit hall. It is rife with exhibitors that are not just there for show, that have just an enormous amount of information. I mean, even me as an exhibitor, I always try to spend time walking around and talking to the different professionals that are there helping companies acclimate to a new US environment. And it's, it's extraordinary. So be prepared for Select USA. Don't just show up on the first day. See who's gonna be there. See who's speaking on panels. See what exhibitors are gonna be in the exhibit hall so that you can make the most of your visit. Fantastic, yeah, preparation, kind of the key to the process. So um, yeah, and, and um, we're gonna make sure to have all of your uh, contact information in the description. Um, would you be okay if uh, companies uh, pre-connected with you and-, and... Yep, absolutely, we, we do that a lot. I mean, every year there's a number of businesses that set up time to chat with us while we're at the event. Um, and and I, we have a, a good contingent for my firm that's there. So there's always someone that has time to, to man the booth and speak to people that are interested. A absolutely, um, because we want you to understand that under the US immigration laws, it, it, there, it, there isn't just one type of visa or one type of work permit that may be appropriate. And so we're happy to talk to you about the nature of your foreign operations, the nature of your existing or planned US operations, the ultimate ownership of the foreign company, if there's a foreign parent. Those are some of the things that we talk to you about to figure out what is the best visa or work permit option uh, for the individual or individuals that you want to hire in the United States? You know, what level are those? Are these going to be founders or technical founders of the company? Are they going to be key specialists? Are, they going to, are these going to be individuals that you've sourced in the United States, but you want to bring over from other companies? So there's, there's quite an array of U.S. visa and work permit options. And one of our jobs is to interview our clients and consult with them and understand their businesses so that we can recommend the very best, both from a time and cost perspective, the very best options that they can use to get the people that they need in the United States working. Wow, oh, that, yeah, that very much uh, uh, great advice. And, uh, and I, I, I know at least from, uh, at least what I see is the immigration law is not static, right? It's dynamic. It is not, so. <laughs> it changes all the time. And, and you know, it's funny, sorry to interrupt you, but. Congress ultimately makes the immigration laws, but as you probably, those of you who follow US politics probably understand that the US Congress is not very effective these days in passing immigration laws. And so what happens in those situations is that it's the federal agencies that regulate the immigration laws and issue policies that are the ones that are driving change. And that kind of change can happen actually more quickly than actions or statutes passed by Congress. And as a result, every day, every week, you know, we're constantly scouring reports from federal agencies to see, are they proposing a new regulation? Are government filing fees going up? Are they taking a new position or policy on certain types of work permits? And so it is really important that companies understand that just like with tax and other areas of their businesses, they need to be consulting with experts on these areas uh, because they do change all the time. Yeah, oh, good, good, good wisdom there. So, well, thank you so much, Andrew, for taking the time. I know uh, the companies are, are gonna get a lot out of this conversation and certainly can't wait to meet you in person in uh, what, just a couple months. I know it's hard to believe that it's coming up again. We're delighted to talk to you and very much looking forward to talking to anyone that wants to chat with us about immigration at Select USA and before Select USA to make sure your ducks are in a row. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bill.